Okay, let's solve this differential equation. As you can see, it's pretty crazy looking, isn't it? Hmm. It's not linear for sure. It's not Bernoulli's, right? It's not, uh, I'm not sure if it's exact. You can check that. I am not even sure if it's uh, uh, homogeneous. It's definitely not separable, right? Mm -hmm. All that. So I am not really sure what to do because those are the usual techniques that we have. Um, however, I look at this, I see that here I have x to a third power plus y to a third power inside of the something square. Remember, how do we use to do integrations? For example, how would you integrate x squared times sine of x to the third power dx? Well, I pay attention to the inner function, which is x to the third power, and then we do some substitution for that, right? And once we put this down, u equals to x to the third power. Hope for the best, right? Let's do it with the same way here. This is my inner function. Let's go ahead and do some substitution. I will say let v equals to that x to the third power plus y to the third power. And then hope for the best. And the book that I'm using for differential equation, we use v for the substitution in differential equation. And of course, this is a good old uh, integrals that you guys should know how to do. Anyways, here we go. Hopefully, everything works out nicely, right? But I still have to do it with the usual approach. That means I have to get dy dx in terms of dv dx and some x, some y's maybe. I have to look at this and then differentiate both sides by using the implicit differentiation. On the left hand side, I will get dv dx equals to, this is 3x squared, and then I do the derivative of this, which is 3y squared dy dx. Just do implicit differentiation, you can squeeze out the dy dx. I need to isolate the dy dx though, so I can plug in right here, right? So let's move this to the other side, and I'm put this down first. 3y squared dy dx will be dv dx minus that 3x squared. And then from here, of course, let's just go ahead and divide everything by 3y squared so they cancel. For this right here, I will put this down 1 over 3y squared, and I'll divide this by 3y squared, okay? So from here, we will have the dy dx by itself, equals to this, which is 1 over 3y squared dv dx, and let's say this is minus, the so 3 cancels out, so we have x squared over y squared. All right, these are the ingredients that we have. Let's see what will happen. Hopefully, everything works out nicely. So I'm going to plug in this into dy dx, so let me just write this down, which is 1 over 3y squared dv dx minus x squared over y squared. This is equal to that, which is negative x squared over y squared, plus 1 over, I have the 3y squared, right? So let's put down the 3y squared right here. And inside, x squared, so x to a third power plus y to a third power is the v. So let's put this down as parentheses v, and then to the second power, like this. And what do we have? Look at this and that cancel out, right? Because it's on the, 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 it's the same thing on the both sides. And uh, from here, let me just write it down these extra steps for you guys. This is just 1 over 3y squared dv dx. And on the right hand side, we have 1 over also 3y squared in the denominator and then v to the second power. What happened to this and that? Of course, they also cancel each other out if you just multiply both sides by 3y squared. 3y squared. This and that will cancel. This and that will cancel. All in all, look at, we have dv dx equals to 1 over v squared. Just like this. This is so nice, isn't it? And if you continue, um, I will show you guys another video on how you can come up with this kind of differential equation and with some specific substitution like this. So watch my next video, all right? But I will continue and finish this for you guys first. Anyways, this is so nice it's because we can do it by separating the variable. I will just do that right here for you guys, all right? Let's multiply v on both sides and dx on both sides. So we will have 
d squared, that multiply phi squared on both sides, phi squared d phi equals to dx. And of course, integrate, integrate, we get one third phi to the third power, and this is equal to, this right here is just x plus c. And depends on how you want to do it. You can say this is c1, and let's multiply everything by 3. So you can see this is 3 times this, 3 times this, 3 times that. So you cancel this out. We get v to a third power equals to 3x. 3 times c1 is just c2. And we're done, because this is v to a third power, right? We're done with pretty much the solving part. <laughs> At the end, v is that. So once you substitute v to be, let me just write this down x to the third power plus y to the third power, and then this is to the third power, right? On the right-hand side, we have 3x plus c2. But since I'm done, I'm not going to write on subscript. This right here is the answer, and that's it.